10 Things Our Parents Lied to Us About Parents, they are the people who always know best. They are there when we take our first steps and make sure we don't step too far. Or touch a stray dog. Or stay up late playing video games. Or eat too much chocolate. When we ask them why, they always give us good reasons and explanations. However, it turns out they are not always the most reliable source of information. <sighs> really? We decided to think back on all the myths our parents told us. You can now surprise your parents with all the new answers you've got, or choose to keep it to yourself. Either way, we are sure you will feel happy and relieved about all those facts uncovered. Counting down from number 10, your ears go red when you lie. When we were kids, every once in a while each of us did something we wanted to remain a secret. Something like smashing our mom's favorite vase, eating all of the candies out of the box, or getting an F on a very important test. Nah, that never happened to me. Sometimes we did manage to make these things go unnoticed, but sooner or later, the truth revealed itself to our parents. What did we do then? We got creative. We made up beautiful stories of alien invasions, or cat being crafty, or our teacher being jealous of our success. Our parents somehow still managed to get to the truth. They explained it saying that your ears go red when you're lying. Lying might make Pinocchio's appearance change, but you are not him. The truth is, blood vessels in the ears regulate the temperature of the body. So if they are red, it means the body is overheated. Your parents most definitely just wanted to teach you that it's better to always tell the truth. Or maybe they really believed in red liar symptom. Try telling them the truth now and see if their ears turn red if they start denying it. Number 9. If you sit too close to the TV, you'll hurt your eyes. Are you wearing glasses or contacts? If so, your parents might tell you it's your fault. You did not listen to them as a child and watch TV, which was too close to you. This is a very popular misconception. We have some good news for you. You don't have to blame yourself for wanting to get a closer look at Spider-Man back then. In fact, you can blame your parents for your bad eyesight. An extensive long-term study has shown that myopia in children doesn't have anything to do with watching TV or sitting in front of the computer. Myopia is genetic, and you most definitely inherited it from your parents or grandparents. However, it does not mean that you should let your own children spend all their time in front of the TV set. Being outdoors is good for them in many ways, and it makes the risk of developing myopia smaller. Number 8. You'll get sick if you stand near a working microwave. Microwaves, those exciting machines which make corn pop and are not for drying out your hamsters. They turn some magical invisible waves into heat, or so you thought as a kid. Did your parents ever tell you that microwaves are dangerous and can make you go radioactive? Yeah, they most likely did. However, it is not true. Modern microwave ovens are totally safe as long as they are fully functioning and you follow all the manufacturer's instructions. Also, it is proven that microwaves don't bring radioactivity to either you or your food. In fact, they work like light bulbs. The energy is only there when it's on. So feel free and safe to enjoy your microwave popcorn. Number 7. You'll get arthritis if you crack your knuckles. This misconception is very popular, but there is absolutely nothing to worry about. No connection has been made between arthritis and cracking knuckles. Bones don't pop, but air bubbles do. Now, why would your parents tell you the opposite? Maybe because their great-grandparents started this chain of lies. Or maybe they just can't stand the sight and sound of knuckle cracking. That's it, right there. Number 6. You'll get acne if you eat too much chocolate. Acne is every teenager's nightmare. It comes out when you expect it least. Pimples were most likely with you on your first date, or on the day you had your senior portrait taken. Your parents always told you it is the fault of your chocolate-loving self. Well, it is not true. Acne is an inflammation of the skin, and chocolate doesn't cause pimples to appear. There is research that says otherwise, but scientists think it's controversial. You can still tell your own kids chocolate is the cause of acne, though. Keep all that sweet stuff to yourself. You deserve it. Number 5. If you swallow chewing gum, it'll be in your stomach for 7 years. You've always wanted to impress someone with those big bubbles you blew. Or maybe you just like trying all the new tastes and sometimes got blown away with that strawberry pineapple feel and swallowed it. 
You sentenced it to seven years in your stomach before it could be digested. That was something your parents told you, perhaps to make you be more careful about it or love it less. In fact, if you swallow chewing gum, it will be digested just like anything else. The only difference is that it will take a little more time. In the end, it will leave your body freely and naturally. Number 4. If you touch a toad, you'll get warts. Have you ever kissed a toad hoping it would turn into royalty? Mm, many times. Or maybe you have found them cute with their big eyes and funny noises they make. In any case, your parents most definitely did not appreciate your love for toads and told you they would give you warts. Don't blame the amphibia. While toads and warts might look like they are of similar nature to some, the reasons why warts appear are reduced immunity and human papillomavirus HPV. You are more likely to grow some warts if you use public showers and deal with raw meat or have eczema. Number 3. Your hair will go faster if you have it cut more often. For some of us, every visit to the hairdressers is still a traumatic experience because of childhood memories we have. We were always told not to cry too much over all the hair we lost because it was supposed to grow back faster. Unfortunately, hair growth rate doesn't depend on how often you have it cut. The average hair growth rate is 0.01 inches per day. Many factors affect it – age, hormones, and even the time of year. Number 2. If you get scared when making a face, it'll stick that way. Did you often surprise your parents or siblings with scary or funny faces? Then you most definitely often heard that you could stick with that look on if someone scares you. Of course, this is a myth. No connection has been found between getting scared and dysfunction of the facial nerve. The truth is, your mimicry was perhaps so impressive it really scared or bothered your parents too much. That's why they had to find an explanation to stop you from doing it. And number one, if you play video games for too long, you'll destroy your TV. Once upon a time in a small town in Ohio, there used to live a boy. His name was Billy, and he spent all day every day playing video games. He never played with other kids outside, he did not eat, all he did was play video games. Three weeks later, his TV said, I can't take it anymore, and broke down. Have you heard this story? Of course you haven't, because it never really happened. But your parents might have told you something like this to prevent you from spending all your time with a gaming controller in front of a TV. The truth is, TVs break down over time, no matter how often you play video games. Are you visiting our channel for the first time? Did you like it? Yeah, yeah? Then click subscribe and give thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. And be sure to join us on the Bright Side of Life. Life.